A brilliant 95 not out from Joss Butler driving the Rajasthan Royals to victory over Chennai in the IPL 2018. What a game we had. It was a four wicket victory, one ball to spare in confirmation that Joss Butler remained there at the crease. 95 not out in just 60 balls. He had 11 fours and two sixes. So Rajasthan stay alive in the IPL 2018. Here with our experts, Steve Das Gupta and Brad Hogg. It was an exciting one, Deep. One of the best matches we've seen. One of the best innings from Josh Butler. Absolutely. I mean, this is one of the best innings of this IPL, looking at how difficult or challenging this pitch was. Uh, and especially on the slower side, that's the, that's more more of a reason why someone like Josh Butler's innings stands out uh, for me. And the way he played, he played according to the pitch. Uh, the shots, he curtled on a lot of horizontal bat shots, he played a lot straighter, was a fantastic innings and it was required because on, the, on a pitch like this, it's very difficult for a new batsman to come in and start scoring quickly. So it was very, very important that uh, some, one of the top three would stay there till the end and Josh Butler, what a knock. Well, we don't have uh, a bit of a feeling that uh, maybe Chennai blew this hockey because yeah. the bowling was not great in the last uh, five overs, was it? Well, I just couldn't understand it. I think after the eighth over, uh, Dhoni only used one over of spin, and that was Jadeja around about the 14th, 15th over. So he just went to his medium paces, but they continued to go for slower balls rather than pace. And when they bowled, the, when Bravo bowled the quicker ball into the feet, cramping up Butler, Butler had no answers. He bowled that slower ball out his body, and it went for six. And full credit to Butler, he played straight. Every shot that Butler scored a boundary off was generally on the offside. That last one was uh, was over the leg side, and that's where they were attacking. It was full credit to Josh Butler. Let's have a look at exciting. the table because it uh, really does put it all into perspective. And for Chennai, it's not as comfortable for them either, with uh, seven wins and four losses. And deep, it's uh, getting pretty crowded there on the ten points and, and twelve points. Absolutely. Now uh, tomorrow's games are obviously. I mean, every game from here on is very very important. I mean, now if tomorrow Bangalore wins. I mean, they, they are there, they're abouts again. I mean, but look at that. I mean, it's, it's getting tougher now. Leave Hyderabad aside, mm -hmm. it, it's getting tougher for everyone else. Uh, so it, it was a huge win for Rajasthan, not just from the perspective of the two points, but also the confidence that they would get. But again, I said this uh, the last game as well, the net run rate is a big issue for them. Yes. That point, minus point 0.4 is as good as a, as a win. So that is something they would look into, maybe obviously get closer to uh, uh, the end, end of the season, where I think they'll have to take a chance uh, against someone to kind of get a big, big win. Yeah, final thought from you, Hoggy, about tonight in the top four as it stands. Oh, look, I, I'm just glad that the IPL has got so much excitement going into the rounds this weekend, but also next week as well. So, uh, some big games coming up. I, I'm just enjoying it, loving it, and well done to Rajasthan Royals out there. Yeah. Hey, I picked them. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't too yeah, confident. Give you that. Yeah. I wasn't too confident about it, I must admit. I thought there was 17 runs too many. Yeah. But uh, thanks to a David Willey second last over there, yeah. he brought them back into it. So, uh, look, it, it's, it's great. And the good thing about it, see, SK aren't certain to be in there as well. Mm. They've got some headaches uh, with their bowling lineup. They just can't rely on the, uh, the batters in the playoffs. Indeed. Thanks very much to Brad and Deep. Congratulations to the Rajasthan Royals. Pretty in pink and Joss Butler was the hero. Bye for now.